Hello, this is the Mr. Gamer King Don B, or the Game King Don B. I'm going to show you YouTubers out there how to get your health bar, or your health number, or your score number, or your message that I'm about to create in a few minutes to stay in the view of rooms in uh, Game Maker. It might work in Game Maker Studios or the new release of Game Maker Studios that I don't have. I'm just sticking with uh, Game Maker 8.1 Elite. So, um, if a little side note, if, you know, for rookies out there or, you know, professional game makers that might have forgotten, you know, all about Game Maker or Game Maker Studios or anything like that, um, if you're deciding to use your um, object properties or your sprite property names and codes, they cannot contain a space. I just want to get that off my chest one time because I'm using the unregistered version of Bandicam and I only have like a 10 minute recording. So let's get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a font. And I be truly believe, because I haven't been on, I haven't used Game Maker in quite a while, uh, because I just restored the computer back to its factory setting a week ago. And um, I just got done a week ago reinstalling the programs that. I think I'm going to use in the future like, you know, Blender 3D and things like that. So I'm not really worried about the pro version of Game Maker 8.1 or, or anything like that because I have Game Maker for making, or, or Blender 3D for making uh, three-dimensional games. So I can just stick to making 2D games in Game Maker. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, if you're creating a health number or a score counter, I would um, just click on normal, maybe all. But I wouldn't click on digits or letters because it'll keep it as a sort of static number and it won't change, I guess. I don't know. But you just have to figure it out for yourself because, like I said, I haven't been on Game Maker in a while, so I'm a little rusty at it. But I have made some pretty okay games, so, yeah. I'm pretty sure you just click on normal and it should allow you to, when you play the game and... You get you take your character takes damage or you pick up a coin. It should be able to count up or count down or something. So I'm just gonna create a simple message. You know that a sprite in there. But if you're creating a health bar or something and you want to stay in the view of rooms in the in the rooms that you create in Game Maker or Game Maker Studios or anything like that, you might want to use something like step like this. And in conjunction, you want to use something like uh, jump to position because it has the X and Y coordinates. And then in there, you can just put view, hit shift under slash X view, and then plus that number where you want your, you know, your health bar, your health number, or your score number to be at in the view of rooms in the game that you're trying to make in Game Maker. So, but I'm not going to do it that way. <coughs> so I'm just going to change event and use draw. As you see, I have the elite version of it. As you see, I've got the STD things. I don't have all the bells and whistles of the pro version of Game Maker, so it doesn't really matter to me. Like I said, I have Blender 3D for making three-dimensional games, so yeah. <laughs> Just create a font, add a color. I'm not like a bright color so you guys can see it when I play the game. And they add the font that I just created. I already added a font. Something else. Oh, yeah. Add your text. So I'm just going to create a simple message. Hello. And there's the X and Y coordinates. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in view. Under slash X view. And view. Under slash Y view. I don't know if, if later if matters or not. I guess. <laughs> And then we're just going to go ahead and create a room. And quickly go over to settings and change up the width to whatever you want it to be. Turn off the grid. Um, then I'm going to go to view, turn on enable the view, the use of views and visible when room starts. Then I'm going to add in my character for it to follow.
change up the uh, HDIR or VDIR or whatever it's called to that. And you can change it to any number you want to. It doesn't really matter. And then you got your tiles to like, you know, add your personal tiles and to like customize your level and things like that. So, so I did not know you can do that. I've learned about that like a couple of months ago that. You can like create tiles or add tiles within the background, so you don't really have to create tiles and sprites. Uh, sprites is basically used for creating your characters, creating something for your characters to make contact with, like the floor, or creating coins and stuff for your character to pick up and things like that within Sprite. So yeah, I'm I'm learning about Game Maker as I go. So yeah, <laughs> I know I know I pretty much know Game Maker front to back pretty much. So, I'm just going to create a background, stretch it out, go to object, add the object floor, I hit shift because it, it tells you right here what, you know, buttons to press. Like so. Let's create a simple floor, add my character, and add my message. Now, we're going to go back to views click on view and as you see you got this uh, use of view box right here your camera view box and this is what you want your arrow to be in because you have your X and Y coordinates down here so basically I want my message to show up like maybe up here in the center here so I only get like X288 so X288 so what you want to do is go back to whatever you set up whether it's your health bar health number score counter or anything like that go into that property you know, that object property go into there and put in plus 288 into there like so and then just hit OK and it should work just open it up for you guys so you can see it better and it should work and then as I play the game um, my hello should be right in the center, right where the uh, the uh, X two A eight coordinates is down here. I'm just gonna write it as a test. So yeah, there's another way you can like um, add things in the view of rooms without it, you know, leaving the view of rooms and things like that when you're playing the game in Game Maker. Like I said before, it might work in Game Maker Studios and things like that. So. And there you have it. There's your hello. And as I move my character, oh look, I have to click in it. As I move my character, I should be able to move smoothly, but I'm not. So hold up a second. I have the control set backwards. So when I click in the window, and as I move my character along, which is kind of stuttering because this is a low-end PC, this Windows 7 Home PC. As you see, the hello doesn't go anywhere. So that's pretty much how you can, um, you know, set up your message or your health bar, your health number, or your scoreboard to stay in view of rooms no matter where your character is in the game world. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's already 8 minutes with Bandicam and I have this 10 minute limit because I have the unregistered version of Bandicam. Thanks for watching.